Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, May 30th, 2019. It is officially the last day of May, guys. We are about to head into June. What is this? <laughs> Holy shit, like the first half of the year is gone. Like. We're entering into the second half, and before you know it, it's going to be the holiday season, and then it's going to be 2020. Good Lord! Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be a general energy reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your personal situation, just go ahead and email me. All the information is in the description box below. Also, keep in mind that this is a general reading. Um, this is not specific specific to love career uh relationships uh, a specific sign or anything this is literally just what spirit wants to discuss with us today and just because it's coming through today and it's dated for may 30th um the message is timeless yes all right guys wow i forgot how quiet it gets in my apartment when the ac isn't running <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's just get started, okay? Here we go. All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, May 30th. 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So there were a number of colors that I saw. It started with purple, and then it got then there was a little bit of flash of pink in there. And then as I was like literally channeling or pushing the energy into the deck of cards i saw yellow and i kind of just want to let the cards speak because i i also i feel like there was more in there that i didn't quite catch maybe some green maybe some orange there's a lot of different things happening right now energetically at least so I'm just going to give this one more shuffle and then I'm just going to let the cards speak and we'll see what spirit has to say in that sense. Last shuffle here. All right, guys, let's see what we've got for Thursday, May 30th. Thursday, May 30th. Okay. Okay. Thursday. Oof. Well, looky here, there's that King of Cups again. That King of Cups just keeps coming out. He's coming out all over the place. Okay, we have the, let's see, but we're back at the Two of Swords. What is going on, you guys? Sorry, I'm trying to get my lighting right. Okay, I guess that'll work. Anyway, Two of Swords is underneath the deck. We're back into some indecisive energy here. We've got the King of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands. Whoa. Wow. Okay. And then we also have Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Five of Wands. Oh boy. So it looks like this is interesting. The first thing I'm getting here is that we have, okay, well, first of all, there could be two people <laughs> that you're kind of involved with, either a King of Cups or a King of Wands. It could be a Scorpio or another water sign, Cancer Pisces. It also could be a Leo or another fire sign, Sagittarius Aries. Um, 
So it's possible that you're dealing with two different people. But the strongest thing that I'm getting here is this is between these two kings. These two kings, they're representing one person. Um, and the storyline could be this. Someone is, or, okay, wait, or you could be dealing with like an external masculine energy or a, 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 like a, a physical man. Or you are also embodying this King of Cups, King of Wands energy and the Queen of Swords energy. That's entirely possible. Okay, we have both masculine and feminine energies within. But what I'm getting here, the first thing I got here was that someone is feeling, has some deep feelings, okay? Um, might be all up in their feels, might be madly in love with someone or maybe just, excuse me, or maybe just very deeply in love with someone, okay? Um, but they, it seems that they may have been rejected in some way. Now, this could just be that, um, well, okay, wait, hold on. Um, but it seems there is some sort of rejection here between the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, okay? The, but, but the thing about it is that the Queen of Swords is just an energy where she's not trying to take any bullshit, okay? She's not, she's not dealing with the mess she's not dealing with the fuckery she's not she's absolutely in no way is she taking any crumbs okay um and thus that's creating some sort of change here with the wheel of fortune and i feel like that's influencing someone to maybe hold back a little bit hmm Excuse me for just a second, guys. Uh, yeah. Ho hold on just a second. It's really interesting. Um, I, I do feel like somehow the actions of the Queen of Swords here is kind of influencing this masculine energy to just kind of hold back a little bit. So that could be the Two of Swords, okay? That, that, that could be where the Two of Swords is coming in. Um, now, you could have actively rejected this person here with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Like you may have actually had some sort of conversation about it, um, or you may have made a move or said something to this person that was kind of like a nobody or like a no thanks, I'm not interested. Or it just could be that you are embodying this Queen of Swords energy. And instead of being able to manipulate you your Queen of Swords status is causing someone to be like, well, yeah, I know I like this person, but maybe I should hold back. Because the King of Wands, to me, it, it, it's, it's a very self-confident energy, someone that's very sure of themselves, but they also know when to hold back, when the right time to strike is. Someone is really flourishing in their individuality, yes, Nine of Pentacles, but also in their singlehood, in their bachelor or bachelorette status. And so because of that, that's, okay, so actually this is what I want to do. I want to take this and I want to put this, take this Queen of Swords and put it down here. Because it was making a little bit of sense in the middle here, but it was also kind of confusing. The Queen of Swords energy belongs down here. Um... So someone is really flourishing in their in their bachelor or bachelorette status, um, and that's creating some sort of conflict. Five of Wands. Um, it's creating chaos. It's creating you know um, different. It, it's creating struggle in the sense of differing of opinion here, and that's where. 
someone is having to kind of step up a little bit. Um, I, I'm not getting specifically how someone is changing here. I just feel like there's change for the better that's happening on behalf of this King of Cups, King of Wands energy. Now, this could be one person between the King of Cups and Wands. It could be two different people, or this could just be the masculine energy within you. But there's a sense of inadequacy, of not being good enough. Five of Pentacles. But that doesn't mean that you're not really good enough. And that's kind of what the King of Wands understands here. It's not that you're not good enough. It's that there's some sort of change in character that's needed. Wheel of Fortune. And to be quite honest, this situation is creating a stagnancy or a, a type of indecision, two of swords, between both individuals if you are in, if you are dealing with like another person or two more or more people or it's creating some sort of indecision with yourself within yourself it's like a this two of swords is like a stalemate energy someone really needs to prove that they can stand up to this queen of swords and it may, or from the outside, it may look like she's a fierce individual, but really she's just standing up for herself here. She's not down for the fuckery. She's not down for the tomfoolery. She's not down to waste, to get her, to have her time wasted, okay? Like I said, the Queen of Swords here is flourishing. Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, we can literally have whatever he or she wants. So it's not a matter of saying, mm, well, I'm lonely, so I guess I'm going to settle for X, Y, or Z. No. <laughs> no, homegirl would rather stay on her own than have to settle for anything. Okay. So it really does feel like someone is having to step up here. Step up to a new level. Take a new approach, Spirit is saying. Figure out exactly what it is you want and then probably commit to it. I'm hearing marriage. Marry me. And that could be what the the Queen of Swords energy is kind of saying. It's like, look, I, I don't have time for casual dating. I'm not I'm, I'm not interested in that. You want to be friends? Yeah, we can definitely be friends. We can go out. We can have drinks, blah, blah, blah. But, but this whole like... Oh, you know, we're just having fun. That, no, pfft, I can have fun on my own. That's not what I'm here for. That's not what I want. If we're going to be dating, like, I want, I want it to be serious. That's what this Queen of Swords is energy. That's the, that's the air that the energy is giving off. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going from zero to 60 in an instant. You know what I mean? It's not like, you know, you go on one date and all of a sudden you're, <laughs> you're committed, you know, and you're planning the wedding. But... Be honest, be real, be true, like know what it is you want, step up to the plate. And also know that I'm that I'm commitment oriented here. So if you're not trying to like if you're not trying to be serious about this, then let's just not waste our time. Okay. Well, all right, Miss Thang. <laughs> let's uh, let's get some clarity here. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna split it up this time. Um, we're gonna start with the masculine energy. Kind of get where they are, you know, in their in their space, and then we'll get into the feminine energy, and then. And then I'm feeling like I might close this with, well, we'll see when we get there. One more shuffle. I'm sorry, two more. We're gonna shuffle one more time. Starting with the masculine, the King of Cups, King of Wands. Now, like I said, there could be two different people here. One water sign, one fire sign, or not. One that's more emotional, one that's more 
passionate. Or it could be the same person. Although I do feel like what the, whatever's going on here is pushing someone into some sort of passionate role here. Okay, but let's see what we've got for this King of Wands, King of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. There's a change happening here. There's definitely a change happening. A shift, an attitude adjustment even. Ooh, nothing. Okay. Well, the moon is on the bottom of the deck. But let's, I'm just going to see what we get here. What do we get here? There we go. There's something. It might be the King of Wands. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Okay, we'll leave it there then. Yeah, it was. It was the King of Wands. Ooh, okay, there's more. Eight of Wands is underneath the deck. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, this really is, in fact... Ooh, and Temperance. Yep. Okay, this is exactly what I was picking up on. What's going on here for this masculine energy, or maybe the masculine energy within you? Um, whatever rejection they're having to, to, to face right now, whatever feelings of inadequ inadequacy they're having to face right now, it's absolutely pushing them into a more confident, self-secure, um, and maybe even a passionate energy. It's so weird. This kind of feels ass backwards. <laughs> but the challenge of stepping up to the plate, of dealing with whatever inadequacy they may be expressing or feeling, is causing them to be... It's like it's almost making them that much more driven to succeed. Now, that could be a little unhealthy, to be quite honest. Um, it could. It could be. It really could be, but it's not necessarily, okay? This is a general reading. Um, but then with the, so that's what I'm getting here with the King of Wands. They may be working on biding their time, um, making, letting things shift, maybe even letting time shift things for them, okay? Holding back a little bit, knowing like that right now is probably not the best time. Then you have the Nine of Cups with Temperance. So, patience. There is a, some sort of re-alchemization that's happening here. There's a rebalancing here that's happening. And there's wish fulfillment involved. So what I'm getting with this for you guys is ultimately this is going to pay off somehow. Satisfaction will be, will be um, achieved. Um, and there's probably going to be some sort of communication. Um, this shift may happen quickly, even though there, there's probably a need for patience. Um, there also could be a need, there, there's, there is a need for patience because there's this element of divine timing. Like I was saying earlier, this feels like this is a, this is in, this is a positive shift that's being influenced here, okay? Which is a good thing. Okay, so now let's get into the feminine energy. This Queen of Swords here. This individual that's very, very much flourishing on their own. Now, this Queen of Swords here could be feeling a, a conflict, inner turmoil, because they are very happy on, you are very happy on your own most likely, or you're doing well, you're flourishing, whatever. And you may have feelings for this person up here, but the Queen of Swords energy is like, hold on, no, I'm not about to let someone just come in and wreck my life like this. Like, I'm in a good place. I'm stable. I'm grounded. I'm solid. I'm abundant. Like, I'm happy. I don't need somebody coming in and, you know, making a mess of that. But at the same time, it's like, okay, but I do want to be in a relationship, says this Queen, but... So there could be some conflict here, or it's your it's your you know point of view or your guardedness that is making that's creating some sort of conflict. Okay, but let's see what we get here for this Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Empress, and the Five of Wands. Please, Spirit, just some clarity for this Queen here. The Fool. 
the Five of Cups. Okay. Underneath the deck, yep, you have the moon. Ooh, the King of Cups. Okay, so underneath the deck is the moon. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. We have the Five of Cups, we have the Fool, we have the King of Cups, and we have the moon underneath the deck. And it's funny because the first time I was shuffling for the top, for the top row, the moon was underneath the deck. And now the moon is underneath the deck again. You know, I'm getting a poker face energy from the moon. <laughs> This queen of swords is playing her poker face because she knows this guy loves him, her. Him or her, it doesn't matter, it's an energy. Um, five of cups though, with the fool. Wow. Okay, so the Queen of Swords is playing hard to get here. She's afraid of taking some sort of leap of faith because of regret, remorse, um, spilled milk, or uh, situations from the past that are saying that she's, it's almost as if she's saying, look, I've been through this before, I'm not doing it again. But there is a misconception here. There absolutely is a misconception here. Things are not as they seem, the moon. Now this is, yes, this is giving me a bit of a poker face energy, but things are not as they seem. Okay, you have to let go of this. This is standing in the middle, in, this is standing in between you and a, a leap of faith or a new a new beginning with someone that actually could really have some deep, true feelings for you. The King of Cups and the King of Wands came out twice. That's so crazy. <laughs> okay. That's a strange message, though, with the Five of Cups being here. But it's literally, okay, so this is, okay, so this is exactly what's creating this Five of Wands energy between the Queen of Swords, or with the Queen of Swords, coupled with the Queen of Swords. It's the pain, the re like, I've, I've been here before, I've done this before. I don't, I'm not trying to let somebody ruin my life again, as if someone, you know, I mean, that's, I, whatever, that's what I'm hearing, so that's what I'm going to say. I mean, you're doing the right thing in the sense of not allowing someone to come in and, you know, come in like a wrecking ball and like really like th destroy everything. But also, you know, you have ultimate control over that. So you can let somebody in, but not necessarily allow them to wreak havoc. You don't have to completely cut them out. Some of this Queen of Swords energy might want to be retracted a little bit here. You don't, I mean, you don't have to defend yourself so vigorously. You don't have to be so guarded or so defensive. Okay, I'm hearing for some of you, this is becoming borderline controlling, this Queen of Swords energy. Okay. Okay, so with all that said, I wanna get a closing message between the two of these energies here. Page of Pentacles. That's it. That's all we need. And the chariot. Okay. Yeah, that is all we need. So, somebody just needs to move forward. And I feel like this is definitely the masculine energy. What I'm getting with the what I'm getting with the chariot now, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. That is officially Cancer energy. But what I'm getting with the chariot is that somebody knows exactly what they want. Someone sees it right in front of them. They're very balanced with it. 
or maybe you need to get balanced and just move forward. Like, like pull up your bootstraps and get to step in, get to moving, like start taking action it, it, and actually physically show something then. If this Queen of Swords is standing here like, mm, I don't know, I'm not trying to waste my time, then maybe it's time for someone to step up and be like, okay, you know what? In that case, then let me prove it to you. King of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is someone that is starting new, starting a new cycle, um, is making a commitment to something. And again, like I said before, you don't have to be going from zero to 60 and like in a 100% committed relationship, now we're planning the wedding. No, but the Page of Pentacles here is saying, number one, this is gonna take some time. But number two, it's start out small. Say you're gonna do something and then follow through with it. You know, that is a commitment. That is honoring a commitment. Like saying you're gonna do something and then just doing it. It doesn't have to be major, it doesn't have to be big, but that's how you start to build trust in a situation, in a relationship. You show and prove, you, you, you you're, you back up your words with actions. That's the page of that's what the page of pentacles is saying here. So if somebody look, if you've got if you've got all this passion, if you've got all this fire, if you've got all this deep emotion and love, then do something about it. The chariot. Do something about it. Otherwise, this queen of swords is just going to sit here and be like, "Yeah, whatever, buddy." Okay. Okay, cool. <sighs> so where are we, how are we gonna close this? I guess we're gonna go with the unicorns again today. That feels about right. Alrighty guys. And I think I'm just going to close it here with the unicorns. Let's get some action guidance here. Just a closing message, advice from the unicorns and how to handle this situation. Yes? That sounds like a fantastic idea. All right, guys. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit and unicorns in dealing with this situation. Ooh, anger. Whoa. And intuition. Okay. That's very interesting. So, anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. So this could be for maybe this masculine energy or maybe it's the feminine energy or maybe it's both of you. It could be that this situation is creating tension and anger or is drumming up emotions for both sides. I'm getting this is mostly on the masculine side. This feels really, really frustrating because this is not as easy as you thought it would be is what I'm hearing. And I think that's where the rejection in the five of pentacles, but then also the shift in behavior, energy, action, represented by the wheel of fortune that's up here in this, by the masculine energy. But also, the second key phrase here is use your anger. Yes, use anger as a positive force. And that's kind of what I'm feeling right here in the chariot. Because the chariot is about balancing your emotions, um, balancing your light and your dark, your good and your bad, and allowing that, the, allowing the momentum of that balance to help drive you to where you know you want to go. Okay? And then also we have intuition. 
Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. And so, yes, that is for both sides. But I do feel like this is more for the feminine side. Because being in this Queen of Swords energy, yes, can be helpful. But like I said, or at least like Spirit had said, it came through, this kind of feels borderline controlling, this Queen of Swords energy. Now, I'm not trying to suggest that you allow somebody to walk all over you, that you allow someone to treat you like less than you know that you are worth, Nine of Pentacles and the Empress, but also you've gotta, if you want your freedom to be who you are, then you've gotta let someone else have their freedom to be who they are too, okay? But also, you're in, but this is saying trust your intuition. So I kind of feel like this person here knows both people, both people, I'm gonna say, if, if this is multiple people, both people know that they have feelings for each other. And, they, and there is an energy of just kind of needing to let your guard down, in a sense. All right, guys. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, as you can see, or as many of you may have already seen, I have started to upload the, or get the um, June monthly readings done. I apologize that, you know, they're not co all coming out before June, but hey, that's life. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to be getting those out, you know, over the next few days and all that. So bear with me, but they're happening. All right. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Bye.